BCB Umpire of the Year award goes to Emerson Carrington. <laughs> this year's BCB Brown Spell of the Year goes to Squala Calvin Richardson from the Davis. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to invite Mr. Bailey to step up and accept the 2017 BCB Lifetime Achievement Award. This year's One Communications Premier League MVP goes to none other than Dion Stowell, Officer Davis. Well, Lloyd Frey, you've announced at the conclusion of the award ceremony that you will not be running for the presidency come a few weeks' time. Wrap up your six years as the leader of Bermuda Cricket. Sure. Well, as I said in, in my wrap up, it was definitely a, a good, challenging six years. I think, you know, when I look back and reflect on what the board has been trying to establish in terms of the strategies, um, I think we're delivering. It's, I've always said right from the beginning that it was going to be a timing suspect. Laying the foundation, getting the right programs, the grassroots level that we said we, it is so much needed because this sport about passion, passion doesn't happen. You just don't, you don't grow passion. It's something that is nurtured, something that is given when you're young and we want to groom those individuals. So those programs that we have, I'm very pleased that they're in place. Um, and so the con right now what is needed is consistency, standards, clubs now nurturing as well, ex adapting to those standards, um, and certainly, you know, if there's anything that I would say that I believe that we would like to have worked harder on, and I th the opportunity is still there and we are getting seeing better results, is the club aspect. Because as I've said for many years, our cricketers at the national level, at Cup they come from clubs. Um, we're a small community and the clubs play an important part. It's the gateway in for players, and it's the gateway out, as I've always said. Um, so, you know, with those programs that the board has put on in, in place with the academies, we look for clubs to do similar with programs so we don't lose our young players when they get to a certain stage in their teenage years. So our programs are designed to keep them motivated and captivated. So it's been a fantastic six years, and I do believe we're going to start to see the standards improve over the next few years. Any regrets? Uh, you know, it's always hard to say, but I do, as a leader, and I've been a leader, as you know, in business as well, it's, it's sometimes, you know, you just got to know when to pass the baton. I have no regrets on what we've done. I, you know, my first three years was a bit, I'll say, more challenging because I really wanted to get the foundation of the administrations and the board, and it took quite some time, more than I expected. Um, but I think we have a good, robust board, a good blend of business and sports. That's important for any association, particularly when you're piloting something like a sport like cricket in Bermuda. And so I'm pleased with that. I would like to have done that a lot earlier to move on with the strategy, but that strategy has now taken shape. So, you know, with, with that aspect, I do believe now we've set the foundation. So whoever this new leader will be or the new president, you know, a lot of the hard work has been done. All right. Well, congratulations. Job well done and enjoy whatever is next in life for you. And I thank you very much for your support too. Okay, bye-bye.